I'm curious to know how much in this movie did they get right about first robotics and how much did they get wrong? Hi, I'm Jeremy Bosquez and I have been a first robotics coach since 2018. So what I've seen in this movie so far is that the all Afghan girls team, the Afghan dreamers, competed in 2017 in the first global challenge. The things that they got correct in this movie was actually that they showed the girls having a struggle getting their robotics parts to them. That's a very real struggle as a robotic coach, I can tell you. And first, sometimes things are sold out or they're on back order and you have a week or maybe two weeks to get this part and somehow incorporate it into your robot before you have to go to competition. Also, when they get their parts, they're given kind of a guide to sort of put it together, but it, it doesn't really give them a whole lot about what they have to do. We get a kit of parts every year, which is kind of a tote of some basic stuff but there's no instructions really on how to build your robot. That's kind of the fun of robotics is you have to figure it out as you go. They showed a lot of really good examples of the collaborative mindset that lives in FIRST Robotics. You're not competing really against other teams, you're competing with other teams. Um, a lot of competitions, you are paired up with teams in multiple rounds. Some teams you may be against a team, and then in the next round, you're with that team. So everyone is always trying to help each other out. No one is ever really trying to keep secrets and, you know, don't show anybody what we're doing. Very much, if, if a team is struggling, the first thing a robotics team, another first robotics team is going to do is go help them. Let's get you up and running as quickly as we can so that you can compete. The, the real impact and the skills that students gain in first robotics was highlighted very well in this movie. Um, there's a particular clip where one of the students has to uh, get a piece of metal uh, fixed. They have to weld it together and they go and find like an auto repair place. And the mechanics, they're like, wait, this girl knows how to weld? She's like, yeah, of course I do. Now, they did a lot of really, really great things in this movie, kind of showcasing what FIRST Robotics is about and the impact that robotics has in general. But of course, I am an FRC coach, and so FIRST Robotics is very dear to my heart. They definitely got some things wrong about FIRST Robotics. And so what are some of these things that they didn't quite get? Now, in the movie, they showed the team going to multiple competitions in one year. Now, based on what I could tell, this movie all was taking place in, in 2017. So I think they meant to maybe like four to six competitions in that one year, which were all over the world. They flew to different places. One was like Berlin and, and Washington, D.C. and uh, Ontario or things like that. Usually in real FIRST Robotics, a team goes to one to three competitions with three being like on the on the high end of, of number of competitions. And the primary reason for this is not because we don't want to compete as much as we can. It's actually really expensive uh, to go to multiple competitions in a year. Back when, when the Afghan Dreamers were playing in 2017, it was $5,000 to register for your first competition. Then to go to a second one, it was an additional $4,000. And then after that, it was another $4,000, then another $4,000. Now, this is at the first robotics competition level, so FRC, high school level, which they did show in the movie they were competing at FRC later on. And so if they're going to four or five or six competitions in a year, their budget would have had to be really large. I mean, we're talking fifty dollars to $100,000 of a budget, um, which is on the high end for a first robotics team. Typically, I would say the average first robotics team budget is maybe Fifteen to twenty thousand dollars, and again, that's that's pretty high. There's there's teams that have budgets way higher than that. There's definitely teams that have budgets lower than that. So that that's a a strong average here. But you know, paying for those competitions to go to, and then having to fly around the world, uh, buying airline tickets and hotel rooms and food. Not cheap, uh, not cheap at all. They also showed the team in their very first competition in Washington, D.C., kind of competing in a 1v1 scenario. So um, again, this was the first global challenge, and they did actually have clips of the first game of 2017 of the first global challenge in the movie. But when the girls were actually competing, they were really competing at first tech challenge level or FTC. There is first robotics competition, which is the high school level. There's first tech challenge, which is grades seven through 12. Then we have first Lego league, which is grades five through eight, usually elementary. As you go from high school level FRC down to elementary level FLL, the robots tend to get less complicated and just smaller in general. The game that they were competing was definitely an FTC game. It was not the first global challenge game. And that kind of competition, that match that they showed, they were in a 1v1 situation. Most robotics competitions, you're either playing 2v2 
or 3v3. Another big thing that they got wrong, and this is actually pretty big, I'm surprised that they got this wrong, was they didn't really show students in general wearing safety glasses. This is like a huge no-no. Anyone who's in FIRST Robotics knows if you are around a robot, you're in a pit, you're at a competition, you're down by them, you have safety glasses on at all times. Uh, you don't get to take them off. If you do, they will yell at you and get mad at you and kick you out. So you need to have safety glasses on, um, especially when you're down like on the field driving your robot, safety glasses. They also showed the girls playing a FRC game that was actually from 2022. So the game that they were playing was called Rapid React, where they had these red and blue kind of giant tennis ball like things and they had to shoot them up either into this funnel to score points or they could actually put them in the basin down below. But the Afghan Dreamers were uh, an FRC team in 2017 to 2018. So the game that year was actually called Power Up where they had big kind of yellow milk crate like boxes that you had to like stack on top of stuff and there was like a teeter totter. They didn't show any clips of the actual Power Up game, which was the game that the Afghan Dreamers played. I'm not really sure why they decided to show Rapid React instead of Power Up. Possible they just didn't want to show boxes on top of boxes. It wasn't super exciting and maybe Rapid React was a, a cooler looking game, but definitely was not the game that the Afghan Dreamers played. Um, but, you know, an interesting game nonetheless, just a different year. And then the very last thing in this movie they showed was this competition at the end where they were designing a robot to detect landmines. Um, now, this competition that they were doing is not FIRST Robotics. I'm not really sure what competition it was. Doing a quick Google search, it did look like the Afghan Dreamers did another competition of some kind that was not FIRST Robotics related. So it's very possible that they just kind of took whatever that competition was and sort of put a little spin on it. This robot that you designed to like solve a real world problem, not FIRST Robotics related. Now granted, FIRST is very much about creating robots and using technology to like better the lives of people around the world, but we aren't typically designing a robot to solve a real problem and that's, that's what the competition is about. Overall, the movie was a great showcase of FIRST Robotics and what robotics stands for and the skills and impact that it has on both students that are in these programs and the communities that have these programs within them. It really does help set students up for the future after high school because they're miles and leagues ahead of other students that didn't learn all of these real life skills in high school and instead they're learning them in college. But these students getting out of college, having been in FIRST Robotics, they're getting into the workforce already understanding deadlines and high stress levels and when problems arise, having to problem solve and get these things fixed as quickly as possible. They are great students to want to have in your company and in your workforce. Sure, again, it didn't quite show everything correctly for FIRST Robotics, but the spirit of the movie and everything that it, it entailed was excellent. Overall, I would give this movie an 8 out of 10. If you haven't seen it yet, I would go check it out. FIRST Robotics is something that actually is, again, around the whole world. So it's very likely you have a FIRST Robotics team within your community or your school or maybe the town next door. If you're interested in learning more about FIRST Robotics, you can go to First Inspire org where you can read all about the different programs at the different levels and even find teams around your area. Well, that is my critique about Rule Breakers and the things I got right and wrong about FIRST Robotics. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. P.S. Also, what was so bad about Power Up? I like Power Up, all right? I mean, I don't know. I like boxes on boxes. That's just me.